Hello scrappy friends, Helen here for the Hey Little Magpie design team. I have my final May layout for you using the Pink Paisley Joyful Notes collection. I absolutely love working with this collection. I've done a few layouts this month, not just for the design team, but just, you know, in general. I think there's another video on my own YouTube with, with this collection. Um, I've drawn this sketch here of a grid layout that I want to do. I was just adding a layer onto the sketch for mounting my white background onto, uh, just adding a layer, just so that I remember, uh, you know, when I'm looking back as uh, to what I did. So I've got the sketch as well there, if I do want to use it again. I do love a grid layout. So this one's going to have nine photos. They are not nine photos, nine squares. Um, they are three by three, either squares of pattern paper, so six squares of pattern paper and three photographs. Uh, they are from Scotland. Um, just got back from Scotland yesterday, which is why we've not got a snazzy intro of me talking to you at the beginning of the video. Because um, that would have involved getting dressed after the drive back from the Highlands. So, yeah, that, that wasn't happening. Um, so I'm gutting the base page here just because I love this paper. There is two sheets of it in the uh, in the collection, but I do really like it. I wanted to use it on the um, for one of the die cuts. So I'm using some of the metal dies here. I have got the uh, viewfinder dies and the travel dies um, from Sarah at Halo Magpie. So I've just cut them with this search, you know, I've done the I've done the compass from the travel dies there uh, with the gutted part of my base piece and then the other metal dies I've cut the pattern papers um, you know that I've, I've used also for my three by three squares. So I do start by having a, a bit of a think about where my embellishments go in. Um, I do come back to this. I think most of it remains the same after a stick down. Some of it gets added to. So I'm just going through die cut pieces here after going through the the ones that I've cut from the metal dies, going through the die cuts that come with the collection and just creating a few clusters. I think I do three clusters. Um, yeah, I think there is just the three clusters in total on here. So I'm just adding them on and then uh, after I have an idea of what I'm doing, uh, I then lift all that out and stick down. Oh, I had forgotten actually just adding some leaves there i used some of the florals as well the metal dies from hey little magpie um they're not ones designed by sarah but they are hey little magpie dies and they are um i use the the florals i haven't cut that die apart i just cut the whole thing to, all together rather than having it as a separate separate dice of florals i just cut it all in one piece with all of them so that's the sprigs of leaves that you see that i've put there on that top left one um but yeah just going through those die cuts and pulling pieces out i think i might use um putting the rest away out the way and then uh yeah going through the rest of the packet and just finding bits that i think i might use in my clusters adding to some of the clusters um creating an, another cluster there I am then going to, in a moment, start sticking down uh, the pieces on the background before I do any more and end up with those clusters being any piled any higher. Um, <laughs> I'm making sure I've got all the letters there uh, that I need for doing the title I want to do. Uh, it's going to have a, a long title going across four of the blocks and then a subtitle on one of the others. So I'm just here making sure, I always start with the centre one when I'm doing a grid layout, this kind of style grid layout. So when you've got a piece that's going to be covering the centre point on your page, I start with that. So it's three inches. Oh, I thought I cut me dip it looking under the camera out. Sorry, I missed that out. Um, three inches wide. So I go, so it's um, from, what we're we looking at there, three, four and a half centimetres to seven and a half centimetres. Is that three inches? Um, so from left to right and, and top to bottom to then put my place in of, of where the middle one goes. And then the other ones, when they're three by three, it, I do half a, half an inch between them because that just gives me a nice a nice grid. Um, just, again, look grid layouts. I have another grid layout um, as well uh, at some point. I can't remember when that's scheduled for. Um, and that's 
using six um, rectangular six three by four pieces. So, you know, with a, a, a grid layout, you can vary up how you're creating your grid. Uh, I have in the past just done quadrants, so four six by six um, squares, making up my 12 by 12. So yeah, you can vary it up. So now they're all stuck down, I'm starting to uh, mount things back up again and, and build my embellishment clusters back up. With the viewfinder dollies, I have, I die cut four of, three of them. No, wait a minute, we'll get this right in a minute. I die cut two of them, <laughs> cut them in half, give me four pieces, and I've just tucked them behind the photos. So I've got, I've got the three viewfinder dies behind three photos. Uh, you'll see them popping out left right and the bottom I have trimmed a couple of them down just because when I stuck the photos down I just needed you know the I hadn't left as much room as I'd intended for where, how far they're tucking under so I just trimmed them off a little bit so they would tuck under as far as I wanted to I'm now getting my wet glue on the vellum piece that I've just stuck down there. I put the vellum behind the gold foiling so the adhesive doesn't actually show on the front of the vellum. Um, so I put the adhesive, sorry, on, on the gold foiling. I use my wet glue on this wax seal. I, I don't know why. I have the, um, the self-adhesive spots to the side of me to put behind it. That wax seal is one of Sarah's that she's designed. It's the geotag with the heart in it. That was sat on my desk um, previously and I thought it would go well with this. And that floral piece I'm just sticking in, that is actually from one of Sarah's um, floral, long stem florals that she designed for, uh, for her little milk eye again. Um, I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> and that was just something that was sat on my desk. I think it was cut in Vicky Booting actually, but the colours went. So I've just used that just to add to that cluster and build that cluster up. So, can you guess what the title is yet? Um, let me know when, at which point during this, you realise what the title was um, as I'm building it. So, I'm just building up this cluster on the top left. I add a few other little bits in. I am building it up and then sticking the the title on top, just to, or the beginning of the title on top, just to you know be nowhere and place and everything and be happy where where it is. Um, the photos are my sister and my my sister's husband and I walked from our campsite in Embo into Dunark. Um, it's the walk is just it's like two and a bit miles, depending on which way you go. It's uh, about two and a half miles if you go along like the coast path and it's about two miles from my sister's caravan to the Cocoa Mountain shop where we went for coffee. Uh, I think if you go the old railway route and we went the old railway route on this one, it's an easier walk. So that's why we went that one. It's an easier walk apart from the picture of me there on the middle left, uh, which is walking around a farmer's field. Uh, because we went all the way around the farmer's field instead of the short route because we didn't want to go onto their crops and didn't notice the bit that you could walk along the short bit. But anyway, I digress. So just adding some more here of these uh, die cut pieces in and the pieces, the uh, geotag pieces that I had cut from the travel metal dies. Um, just, you know, playing there with that wax seal piece that I had on my desk decided it wasn't the right shade of blue so I'm not going to use that one um oh wait a minute I brought it back in again <laughs> it actually looks the right shade of blue on this video but in real life it, it wasn't it it was too green um it just wasn't right that does come off and do do something else there so I did another one of the geotags from that I've die cut there uh, with the metal dies add in the next bit of the title so I've got I would walk 500 if you got the title yet <laughs> um, and then just finishing the title off with miles so yeah I have gone we are in Scotland so I have been predictable and, and we're walking and I've gone with the proclaim as I want to be um, so I would walk 500 miles that is not the full title there is a sub a subtitle coming because there is absolutely no way I would walk five miles let alone 500 so there is a subtitle coming uh, <laughs> I nearly walked five miles actually the last day because I really fancy doing 
the coastal walk. So walk into along the coastal walk, go Cocoa Mountain for a, a coffee or a hot chocolate and do the railway path back. Um, but there just wasn't the break in the weather that was promised and it didn't happen. Um, OK, so here we are with the wax seals. I am doing the little um, 15 mil, the little arrow. I have added a Sharpie um, spot now on the wax seal stamp head. And I've added the Sharpie, the little mark where to where the arrow is pointing towards so that it makes it easier when I am uh, stamping something when it needs to be directional. So I've I've mixed a couple of the reds together to make the red on the top to get it closer to the right uh, the right shade, the right colour. And I've also used that kind of bluish turquoise. It's jade, it's probably more jade, isn't it? One on the middle of the geotag in the bottom. And the one at the top nearly covers the whole of the geotag, but, you know, you can still see some of the pattern paper around it. Uh, but then the one at the bottom, I have put a little bit more wax in than I meant to, but it still, you know, fills that hole in the middle of the geotag quite nicely. So, my subtitle. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, my main title is I Would Walk 500 Miles. My subtitle is No, Wait, Maybe Two. <laughs> Um, so yeah that's what I'm just putting out here these again are the the these letters are also with this collection so you do get the two alphas with the pink paisley jo joyful notes you get that gorgeous big foam um thickers alpha so it's the foam thickers with the um cardboard layer on top uh, so it's white cardboard with the gold foiling and then you get this smaller navy um navy um thick um puffy stickers which I absolutely love just adding there the day and it was uh, Embo to Dunark and we are done thanks so much for watching and um, I will see you again another time have a great day bye bye